and in Colorado Springs, it's coming down hard. It's 34 degrees air temperature downtown, but here at our Rock Room and Studios, it's a couple degrees cooler. Vis visibility is very, very low because of this. And because of the rate that it's snowing right now, it doesn't even matter that the road temperatures are above freezing. It's just um, accumulating anyway because it's snowing so hard. And last but not least, Pueblo. I've been really loving watch. I've been really loving to watch this camera over the past oh, about hour or so because we've had these beautiful flakes after transitioning. To, from rain to snow. And the reason why the flakes are so big this morning is because when we have more of a warm spring March storm, these snowflakes will be falling through the atmosphere. They'll hit this warm layer just above the surface and they'll start to melt just a little bit. And then they'll start to conglomerate together and get stuck to each other as they're falling. So we have these big big beautiful flakes in Pueblo. So this storm came in just around sunrise and we had a large area of thunderstorm and snow activity moving in from New Mexico. So now we're seeing this really take a dive to the north and it's continuing to snow across the front range of Colorado. Uh, the storm delayed a couple hours from my forecast yesterday and each day it really has showed this slow down effect and that doesn't necessarily mean the storm is weakening or it's not going to come it in fact means the opposite it's diving a little further south and gaining some extra strength so the fact that it's delayed even by a couple more hours this morning tells me that I have a fair amount of confidence in my forecast totals that I will get to in a moment. But this is where we've got the activity this morning. It's so great to see all of this rainfall into the Eastern Plains. And we've had quite a bit of lightning activity here at the helm of this little batch of rain moving to the north. Springfield has had a lot of lightning this morning. Zooming in on the Pikes Peak region, some of our main hubs of population. So Pueblo, we saw that it was snowing downtown. So sometimes radar does have a difficult time translating what is happening here, if it's rain, if it's snow. So we do appreciate it if you tell us what is actually falling at your house. Um, Canyon City now in a little bit of a break, but another batch of snow is coming your way. And this heavier band of snow now moving through, now past Fountain, will move into central Colorado Springs in probably about 10, 15 minutes. Overall, starting to shape up to be a nice storm. I'm gonna grab my phone now, just to make sure uh, if you guys have any questions that I am seeing them. So I will be showing you the forecast totals coming up. If you're waking up, let me know what you're seeing at your house. How are things looking? Okay, I got got Facebook on my phone now. Up, okay. Oh, well, of course, now you see the my voice double time. Okay. Hello, Rachel. Already starting to cover the ground at Garden of the Gods. Mm-hmm. Thomas just pulled out a bunch of tomato, put out a bunch of tomato plants. Hi, Bob. Hi, Seth. Okay, so let's talk about temperatures right now. This is a warm storm, and we've been watching this first round coming in and expecting it to be kind of this mix of snow and rain and slush, and you're going to see a lot of melting and not an, addition, an initial accumulation right away. But because in Colorado Springs it's raining or snowing so heavily, we are already seeing accumulation on the roads. So here's a look at those road temperatures right now, actually starting to cool off a bit into the eastern plains. We have some of that evaporative cooling from the rain. Snowing in Pueblo West, Monument, half an inch already. Snow at Rock Rimmon, that's where we're at. Heavy snow, Cimarron Hills, covering the ground near Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, so we do have all of our alerts in place and they'll stay in place through either Sunday at midnight or 6 a.m. Monday morning. 
Uh, winter storm warnings are the pink color, and that's the higher. Uh, it's not as bad as a blizzard warning, but it's still on that high level, high impacts expected. And winter weather advisories are in place for Walsenburg to Trinidad, and that's mostly for this morning's activity that we have seen. Elsewhere, we're going to get snow for the next several days. So this forecast is looking a little bit more blown out of proportion than what we're actually seeing falling, but it's showing some pretty good locations of where the snow is now and where the rain is now. So as we head into the later portion of the day, here's noon, snow in the mountains along I-25, rain and still those thunderstorms into the eastern plains. And then watch as we head into later this afternoon, we're going to get a batch of dry air moving in from the back end of this storm. So you will have a break, especially in the plains, southern I-25, here's six o'clock, still snowing in the mountains at this time, and we'll get a brief break uh, this evening for the Pikes Peak region. But notice it fills right back in for tonight. So after the sun sets, you'll see another round of snow. And by that time, temperatures are gonna be a lot cooler. The road temperatures will finally be below freezing. And that's where I'm actually most concerned about travel for tonight and then through the day on Sunday. So I'm not gonna worry about Sunday's future cast now. I do wanna just get you the information you need to head out the door today if you do plan to go out. If you are going out today because road temperatures are fairly warm to start, you should be okay. But I would have some emergency supplies if you plan to be driving a lot over this weekend. We don't recommend it, uh, but I know life goes on and some of you might have to go to work. So just have extra blankets, a charger, and uh, maybe some food and water in your car just in case. So I I'm pretty confident in these snow totals just based on how things are evolving this morning. And the Pikes Peak region, definitely going to get the most here. And I will zoom in here on Colorado Springs proper and on the north and west side of town. There's always this big gradient here. This morning, I did increase the totals for Fountain. We're seeing that heavy snow this morning. I got four to five for you about 5 to 10 throughout the city of Colorado Springs, and this will be through Monday morning. On the north side of town, areas like Briargate, about 9 to 12, 10 to 16, Air Force Academy, Manitou, about 9 to 12 for you. And for Pueblo along the Arkansas River, I might have underdone Pueblo a little bit now that I'm seeing the snow rates, but because we're so warm, I am anticipating a lot of melting. So more of a slushy mess for you. Canyon City, Florence, Penrose, about two to three. The wet mountains getting a good amount, especially in those higher elevation zones like San Isabel. And on the Southern I-25 corridor, you get this first round of snow in Trinidad and Walsenburg today, but then you'll start to dry out with that dry slot I showed a couple minutes ago. And then the southern, southern sand grays, uh, you can get half a foot up to a foot. That definitely looks likely. Looking back at comments now, snowing and blend. This snow is really beautiful. It's been fun to watch just come in really fast. Joshua says, everyone be safe, have a great day. Heavy snow by UCCS. Okay, so. I also want to show you this probability chart because maybe if you're a little bit more type A personality, you want to see all the data. I really like what I've been doing with this particular snowfall probability. Uh, for Colorado Springs, the chance of getting four inches is pretty much a home run. We have over a 90% chance of that through this event. Even six inches is looking very likely up to a 90% potential. 8 inches to 12 inches is possible, but that's not going to be common through town unless you're on the north end of things. For the Pueblo area, your probability of getting a trace, we've already done that. The grassy surfaces have already begun to get that nice white glow over them. So we had that heavy snow so far, and we'll see a good probability of having an inch, about 70 to 80% for that. 
But anything over that, I'm not too convinced because Pueblo will stay quite warm during this whole entire event. It will get down to 30 tonight in Pueblo, but then we're warming back up to the middle to upper 30s tomorrow afternoon anyway. Uh, but you will get a lot of moisture, at least half an inch of precipitation in liquid form. And for Canyon City, I do think you'll get a little bit more than Pueblo, but still just kind of a wet, sloppy mess. A good chance of seeing at least an inch or two. About a 60% chance or probability of seeing four inches up to six. That's looking highly unlikely. And for Woodland Park, this is also uh, the same kind of probability for Monument. Uh, over to Calhan, you might have a little bit less than this, but this is our big home run zones, the big totals for this, this event. And I've got over a 90% chance, pretty much a 100% chance of up to eight inches. That foot mark, at least an 80% probability of, and then up to 18 inches, uh, that's where we have about 75% chance. I will uh, go ahead and pull up the radar again so you can see where we're at and see where the snow is going. I know some folks are waking up kind of nervous. Where's our snow? It's, it's, it's here now. So now we can just enjoy it. So remember, there will be a break later on this afternoon, then more snow, especially in the mountains and Pikes Peak region by late tonight. Actually, the thunderstorms that moved into the Eastern Plains this morning were severe thunderstorms in New Mexico, so they're packing quite a punch. And the Eastern Plains, I have you seeing at least a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain for this event. That is really, really great news. If you see some of these higher reflectivity values here, the thunderstorm activity, you could pick up isolated spots of an inch or even maybe more. And again, for the mountains, we'll see off and on snow showers all throughout the morning through late tonight. And then Sunday, we'll talk about tomorrow. We'll just get through today. It's going to be windier tomorrow. We'll get that north drying wind, and then we'll finally see the rest of our snowfall accumulation. Pueblo getting another beautiful band of snow, beautiful flakes. Really nice to see this. So hopefully you're able to stay inside today and just enjoy this weather. It's a weekend for many of you. So just grab some hot chocolate or something. Very low visibility in Colorado Springs right now. Trinidad, you've kind of off and on seen some heavier pockets, but pretty light so far. And for Canyon City, oh, we're waiting on that next band of snow. It's coming and it'll look beautiful.